gets off the bus and they just they're ready to play and they come into New England and they just smacked us. <coughs> I don't even know what to say. They beat our brains out. 42 to nothing. I probably quit watching college football. They beat us so bad. Or, wait. I got that wrong, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, I think I got that wrong. I'm just joking, guys. Uh... First quarter early. Bray, handoff. Flea flicker. They flip it back to Bray. Bray fires long, wide open down at the 15 yard line. Derek Rogers to the five, to the checkerboards. Touchdown, Tennessee. Bray gets the snap and retreats. Bray sets up, got some time over the middle of the pass complete. Justin Hunter at the 40, to midfield, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the end zone. Touchdown, Justin Hunter. 81 yards. Three wide outs to the left. Bray gets the snap, looks right, fires right. Lane's got it at the five, makes a move to the three, to the checkerboards. Touchdown, Marlon Lane. Stadium, Tennessee 42, Montana 16. The rest of the game, uh, Marlon Lane, he really impressed me as a freshman. I think that he'll actually be able to progress and turn into a really good back that we that we need as Tarn pulls for senior. Um, I'm not going to say much about Tyler Bray. You can't say he's going to be good this year. You can't say he's going to be Heisman stats just because he threw for three touchdowns against Montana. I mean, come on. Let's be real here. Our line, that's probably the biggest defensive line they're going to see all year. That They had an average of what, like 6'5", 330 pounds, a bunch of goons. But anyways, they need to push them back. we got to control the line better. We didn't control the line none of the game. Even Dooley said that they had control of the line the whole game. And, I mean, Poole had to fight for his 99 yards. He earned every 99 yards he had. But, um... I'm really excited about watching the Justin Hunter, Derek Rogers duo throwing in old DeAnthony Arnett and Zach Rogers, Marlon Lane out of the backfield. I was gonna like that. Well, as Bill Fervall said, uh, 17 points is what he projected. 16, he was close enough. I didn't think we'd give up that many points, but they just beat our freshman corners, inexperienced secondary, a couple times. Justin Coleman gave up one, I think, their first touchdown. What else can you expect, though? Hmm. But, Art Evans, I remember last year, he just couldn't really, him and Eric Gordon were really iffy in the secondary. Art Evans proved to me, him and Eric Gordon proved to me, changed my mind about them both. Art Evans, now starting corner, he had to step up and he had to play good. Pick six, he covered good. Eric Gordon, I think they're winning a spam where he made three straight plays. I've never seen him be consistent before. And he done it not change my mind about him. But just we really don't know what we got until we play Cincinnati. Not that they're a good team, not that they're gonna be anything compared to LSU or South Carolina or anybody like that. But they're gonna be better than Montana. Florida, though, third game, that'll get tell us how good Bray's going to play, tell us how good Justin Hunter's going to be, tell us how good our secondary's going to be, tell us everything we need to know. But I'm just going to make a quick video that had fun at the ball with you, BVD, and Bill. And uh, try to see y'all next week in Cincinnati. Go Vols.